All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again. I'm here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing some video predictions for The Walking Dead Season 4. Viewer requested topic, will or could the governor end up being one of the hunters in The Walking Dead Season 4? Okay, so I want to get back into the swing of things since The Walking Dead is going to be starting fairly soon. We've got, let's see, about just under three weeks to go pretty much till the uh, the start of the new season. Uh, we haven't seen any of the governor in the trailers. We don't know anything about where he's at or what he's doing. There is the leaked picture of him, which is probably legit based on what most people think. Uh, as far as I know, it's not taken from another movie that David Morrissey's been in. It's not taken from another show or anything. Of course, you can see the eye patch. Um, the one in which I'm talking about, you guys can check the channel. Just type in uh, Governor Season 4, search on my channel, and you'll find the video where I've actually posted, and you can see the leaked picture of the governor. Uh, he's got really scruffy everything. You know, his beard is like full grown. His hair is really grown out. So it really seems like he has gone sort of into uh, into hiding, so to speak, since we last saw him at the end of season three after what he did. And um, we don't know if he's still going to have his small entourage with him. Uh, Shumpert and Martinez, we don't know if they're still going to be with the governor, if he's going to be totally alone, where they're getting food from, if he's met another group. But it would seem logical to me that he would have to um, find a another group or something of the sort or at least other people to join to have join with them to create a force big enough to really mess with Rick at the prison. That being said, some people suggested in my channel that well could it be possible that maybe since the governor's story arc kind of ended at the end of season three and now we're going to see something new, we're going to see a new governor without Woodbury, that uh, maybe he'll become one of the hunters which is a group of characters, group of villains basically from the Walking Dead comic book series who basically, because they are such bad hunters at hunting animals, um, they actually switch and they start hunting people. <laughs> and uh, I've done a video about this before too, talking about will we see the hunters in, in season four, and sort of a spotlight on them, so you can check that out if you like, as well as a review of the trade uh, Fear the Hunters from The uh, from the Walking Dead. And they are a really cool group. Uh, I'm really excited to see how they're incorporated in the Walking Dead television series and how they sort of expand on them as characters because I think they're going to have a lot more time and a lot bigger role than they did in the um, the comic book series. That being said, basically what they do is they hunt down surviving people uh, as well. I mean, they'll find food wherever they can, but food is becoming very scarce now because we're a couple years into the zombie apocalypse now. So, you know, aside from canned food, Everything else is, or hunting, you know, animals or, or growing like farming. And a lot of people don't know anything about that. I mean, Rick Scott Herschel, but I mean, how, you know, these days in modern society, like not many people know a lot about farming or have the tools uh, to actually, you know, create their own food. So it becomes a scarcity, it becomes a problem. And the hunters decide to basically, since they suck and they can't find too much, they suck at hunting uh, animals, they're just gonna hunt people. Uh, so that's what they do. Now, this video that was suggested is that could the governor join with them or be, be sort of similar to them and start to do things like this. Uh, it's an interesting concept. Now, in terms of time in the, uh, the Walking Dead comic book series, he, uh, the governor's story arc ends, Rick and his group leave the prison, they meet up with three new characters named Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene, and then with them they sort of take off on this bogus mission, which we find out later is bogus, and on the way they are uh, confronted by the, the hunters, and um, it's some of the most exciting stuff in all The Walking Dead. I mean, The Walking Dead overall is a really exciting series, the comic book. But, but those villains in particular are really dark because of what they do. Um, I can't wait to see them in the television series. I hope they bring them in. Um, could they be sort of turning the governor into one? Well, it certainly looks like it from the leaked picture. I mean, he looks like he's lost all sense of his humanity. And um, that could be something that he could turn to if, he, if he's not able to find food. Because he is a manipulator. He is very manipulative of people. He seems to kill without any kind of remorse or anything of the sort, I mean, especially in the finale. Um, so I definitely think it's a possibility. The only thing is that chronologically, if they follow the comic book series, they occur at different times. So uh, I do think it's an interesting concept. I think it would make the governor 
an even more badass character than he than he normally is in uh, the television series, and it's definitely something that I would like to see if they're going to go that route. Uh, that being said, will they? I don't know, because they may want to just use him and have him do his own thing, maybe have his whole thing from now on be new and not inspired by anything in the comic books, aside from maybe the tank and the attack on the prison, where he goes, what he does, have that be entirely new, so that they can bring in the hunters later on as a full-fledged force to be reckoned with, even more dangerous and even more uh, deadly than the governor was in the show. So that that's what I think they'll probably do, but I'll tell you from the trailer, it certainly looks like someone is messing with the people at the prison, and that really feels a lot like the Hunters in the comic book series, because that's what they do. They, they mess with characters or survivors. They will, uh, they will take one of them at a time, leave the others, uh, you know, kill the person, and, and, and you know, eat them. <laughs> Cannibals, right? Uh, brutal. Um, and then, you know, sort of track the others down one at a time and just put a lot of fear into them, mess with them, do things to them. And a lot of that feel is in the trailer. So it's definitely a possibility for the season. As we get started with the season, we see some more uh, trailers and more stuff we can speculate further. Um, at this point, for me, I'm going to say I don't think he is one of the members of the Hunters. But uh, it certainly seems like his tactics are similar to what we see in the trailer, or I mean the, the, the Hunter's tactics are similar to the tactics that whoever is messing with the group at the prison in the trailer, uh, it seems like either them or the governors join with them or uh, maybe the governors out there somewhere else and we're going to see them brought in first. Because we haven't seen David Morrissey in the trailer, we just know he's going to be a series regular, that's it. So. Um, uh, Pretty much that's all I really got to say. It's all the speculation I can do at this point based on what we have. Uh, one way or another, I personally, as a fan, I don't really care if, uh, if, if they make David Morrissey into that. That would be cool if they did, and I'd like it. But if they don't, then they can just save all of that for when we do eventually encounter the Hunters in the series. And that's going to be exciting stuff. They're about as dark as you can get. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, the topic. If you think David Morrissey is going to become a cannibal, <laughs> one of the Hunters, or do you think they're going to keep those separate, have them be separate villains, and then we'll see them encounter the group at different times. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. If you guys have any more ideas for prediction videos or you know new content that comes out you want me to review or whatever the case may be, uh, please feel free to send it to me in the comments or in a private message, and I'll take it into consideration. Anyway, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.